So in the last class, we have seen what was strictly dominant strategy. But there can also be a case in which strictly dominant strategy doesn't exist. So how do we find equilibrium there? So please write somewhere something. What if, what if a strictly dominant strategy strategy does not exist right so i'll give you an example of a game so there are player there is player 1 and he has two strategies a and b Player 2 has three strategies, small a, small b, small c. Player 2. So in the strategy set of player 1, there are two strategies, capital A, capital B. In the strategy set of player 2, there are two, three strategies, small a, small b and small c. And the payoffs are given to you like this, 5-5. Five, five. 0 10 3 4 3 0 2 2 and 4 5 okay so before even telling you about the dominated strategy can we just find out whether any dominant strategy exists or not so for dominant strategy what is the definition regardless of what the other person is doing i will do what i have to do I'm just doing my strategy regardless of what the other person is doing. So for player one, it would mean whether regardless whether player two is going to play small a, small b, small c, let's say player one only plays a or regardless whether player two plays small a, small b, small c, whatever player two or uh, player one always player b, right? Or player one always plays b. Let's see whether it happens. So if player two plays a, then player 1 will choose between 5 and 3. He will choose 5. It means the, that player 1 is going to play capital A. Okay. If player 2 plays small b, then player 1 has to choose between 0 and 2. He will choose 2. That means he will choose strategy capital B. So player 1 doesn't have a strictly dominant strategy. Because when player 2 is choosing small a, player 1 is choosing capital A. When player 2 is choosing small b, player 2, player 1 is choosing capital B. So you don't have a dominant strategy. When player 2 is choosing small c, player 1 is choosing capital B, right? So player A doesn't have any dominant strategy. First of all, we'll write that. Player 1 does not have any strictly dominant strategy right then what about player player 2 so if player 1 plays capital a player 2 has to choose between 5 10 and 4. So he will choose 10. That means player 2 is going to choose small b. Okay. We'll keep this in mind. Player 1, if chooses capital B, then player 2 is going to choose between 0, 2, 5. So he will choose 5. That means player 2 is going to choose small c. So, aisa to nahi hai na, that regardless of whatever player 1 is doing, player 2 is only choosing a particular strategy. No, it is not. So player 2 also does not have any player 2 also does not have any right strictly dominant strategy
राइट ओके अच्छा डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग ओके वी डू नॉट हैव एनी डोमिनेंट स्ट्रैटेजी बट डू वी हैव एनी डोमिनेटेड स्ट्रैटेजी राइट सो I mean something which is going to be dominated always in the presence of the other strategies. So if you look for player two, right, and you look at strategy small b and strategy small c. So in strategy small b and strategy small c, so ten is greater than four. Two is greater than five. Mm -hmm. It is not dominated. Okay. Can I compare small a and small c? Five is uh, greater than four. Zero is less than five. No. Okay. Can I compare small b and small a? So if player two is going to play small b. and if player 1 is playing capital a yeah. so comparing small b and small a to so bhaiya 10 is greater than 5 yes yahan pe 2 is greater than 0 yes so strategy small a is dominated by strategy small b so you don't have any one dominant strategy but you definitely have an dominated strategy so dominant strategy is one uh, you do not have any dominant strategy in this case but you have one dominated strategy for player 2 small a is dominated by small b why because payoffs in small b are more than payoffs in small a right so please write uh, notice that what is that regardless regardless of whether player 1 plays a or capital b player 2 right does strictly better by playing small b rather than small a right so right small a is strictly dominated by small b so this strategy small a is strictly dominated by small b for player 2 uh, and any player will never play any dominated strategy for sure right so can can we write the definition for a dominated strategy right a formal definition for dominated strategy so you will say a strategy small si belonging to capital si so i have i have explained what small si and capital si, si was in the in the last class is strictly dominated is strictly dominated for player i for player i to yahan pe small si ka kya matlab hai strategy small b for player 2 capital si ka kya matlab hai player 2 ke liye kaun se capital si mein kya kya hoga small a small b small c to hum keh rahe hain small b is strictly dominated for player i i yahan pe kya hai player 2 if there exist
if there exists a strategy small si curl right belonging to capital si if there exists a strategy which is giving a strictly higher payoff than small si so what is the small si curl in our example small a right so strategy small b is strictly dominated for player 2 if there exists a strategy such as small a for player 2 such that such that uh, utility of individual i is utility of individual i by playing si curl uh, is strictly more than his utility by playing si given the opponent is playing small uh, small s uh, S small i, whatever, right? Just say, aap log player two ho, I'm player one. So, I will be, I will, you will be having strictly more utility by playing B as compared to playing A if I play capital A or if I play capital B. So, S small i, uh, S minus i means, minus i means opponent, right? So, kaise isko read karenge beta? Tumhari utility, your utility by playing B is 10 uh, and your utility by, by playing small a is capital 5 when I play capital A, right? Your utility from playing small b is 10 which is more than your utility from playing small a which is 5 when I play capital A. So this capital A is S minus I. Your utility from playing small b is 2 is strictly more than your utility from playing small a when I play capital B. Here capital B is S small i. You can also write S small s minus i is belonging to capital S minus i. So minus ka matlab hai opponent. So capital S minus i mein kya kya hai? Capital A capital B. So, I am the opponent. S I capital S I mein kya kya hai? Small a, small b, small c. Like this. Right? So, some books also write for all small s i belonging to capital uh, sorry, for small s minus i for, for all s, small s minus i belonging to capital S minus i. Right? So, you are doing it uh, uh, it will in the in the we are writing it uh, this way because uh, you should also understand the terminology which books have used right so this is about a dominated strategy i haven't told you how do you find out the equilibrium yet right so i've just told you that the how do you find out the dominated strategy and one very important thing is that no rational player will play a dominated strategy, right? So, right, a player will not play a strictly dominated strategy right so i hope this was useful to you thank you beta